Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm in our Fleetwood, Pennsylvania factory with the newest addition to the Fleetwood line of speakers. This is the Fleetwood Fundamental subwoofer. And uh, Fundamental is a good name for this because in, in music, uh, you know, um, definition, the fundamental is the, the lowest sound in, 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 in a lowest perceivable musical note. Everything is a harmonics above the fundamental. It's the core, it's the basis of musical sound. And this is what the fundamental is supposed to be. The interesting thing about this speaker is I never thought we would actually make something, offer something like this. And there's an interesting story with that. This is solid one inch thick, torrified Pennsylvania oak. It's oak that's been thermally modified, been roasted to this dark color, and then treated with hand rub ball linseed oil. The hardware is quarter inch thick steel, very heavy. This is the stand. If you can see, this is really heavy. The speaker sits on normally, it's attached. Extremely heavy, well-made thing. The electronics inside are ours. Um, not third party and you can connect, I'm not going to try and turn this around because it's too heavy, but you can connect to this from a uh, line out, from your amplifier, or a jumpering to, with speaker cables to say the Helios, the Excelsior, the DeVille, from which it's, it's all meant to work together, like Garanimals, if you remember those, the Sears children's clothes that I used to thought, think was really cool. Or you can use this with your other brand of speakers, which almost certainly is not going to be as high efficiency as ours, um, but it will work. And that is a good segue into why I didn't think we would make this. Um, because this driver is the reason that the speaker is possible. If it wasn't for this exact driver, there isn't another driver like this. It's a 10 inch huge voice coil, high efficiency, woofer that's basically virtually indestructible, will accept a lot of power and produce a lot of bass. And good, clean, fast, low bass. So what, what's the problem with subwoofers, you might ask? If you look at professional audio, um, sub, subwoofers are everywhere. Every, every, cons, every installation has subwoofers and they're all huge. Uh, if you're familiar with the Oswald's Mill Audio brand, the Imperia system has 21 inch woofers uh, in the base modules. We use 15s, now we use 18s, high efficiency that will produce extremely fast, clean, distortion free, low bass. The thing is, is these are either horn loaded, they're very large. In, in professional audio, there's no such thing as a compact subwoofer because they have to produce enormous sound pressure level outputs at low frequencies. All right, that's pro. We're not in pro. We use professional transducers, but we're not a pro audio company. In high-end audio, you'll also find subwoofers and they are all dreadful. They're all ridiculous, horrible, big fart contraptions that have, they, they, they actually brag about how far out the woofer can go, inches, making these, these enormous like <laughs> bass sounds, right? That you pair with your inefficient speaker, which has too small a volume, and it's also excur excurting so far to produce bass in a small volume that, that it needs a sub, and you buy a sub, even, even though they're not cheap, they're cheaply made with, with weak magnet drivers and a lot of cheap power, and they sound awful, and they don't work with our speakers at all. So when I go to, to installations of a client, happened to me just last week, uh, and say they have the mini speaker and they've added a sub, and I just go, like, can we listen to this? It's a, it's a disaster because the mini, woofer you know is super fast and super efficient and it goes on a drum strike it goes in and out like this the subwoofer goes 
So now in time, the, 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 the bass note that the mini has produced, the subwoofer is still producing it. So you get like a blurring effect. Imagine you watched a movie or a TV show, everything is just blurred. That's the sound produced by a system with a conventional high-end consumer subwoofer. Awful, never, never would want to offer anything like that. It became clear, and it's a long story how that happened, when I became aware of this, of this driver that we could do something that I had never anticipated, and that is to produce a subwoofer in a size that would fit with the rest of the Fleetwood line, and for that matter, you know, Ome Minis, or other speakers that are high efficiency, even vintage speakers, that would take care of the low end, that would be compact enough, that would be fast enough, that it would just disappear. And here's where the magic comes in. It's this really, really cool thing. With this, the Excelsior speaker, the DeVille speaker, um, in, in, in running it as a prototype, in, in our studio, for example, I can't believe what this thing does. Because what it does is it takes, say, the DeVille or the Excelsior, and it makes it sound like one of our larger systems. And you just can't believe that this and this, which are this small, sound that big. That's the magic part. And that's why I'm really glad that we did this, even though it's kind of unexpected for me. And also that we made something that actually looks cool and is beautifully made and should last like forever. Because certainly like you can't, I mean, this is solid steel. It's, it's pretty indestructible.